Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. All right, everybody. Um, hope everyone's excited to be back and going at it. A uh, couple things before we start. A lot of guys here have played with us before. A couple guys here have never played with us before, right? And so a couple things to keep in mind. I don't know how you guys practice in the past with other teams. A few things that I really want. One is high energy, so we're running everywhere. So if we say, hey, let's switch up, jog. So never walking on the field. We got an hour of infield, so you guys can go hard the whole hour, okay? When it's your turn to get up in line, so if, if you're going and I'm behind you, the second he goes, I step up and I'm ready to go, all right? We never want to be waiting for you and say, hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. Step up so we can go quicker. We have to wait two, three seconds every time. That waits a couple minutes during practice. Sound good? Uh, next thing. You guys that have played for other teams before, we might tell you some stuff today that is different than you've heard before, right? If we're telling you something, we're telling you that because we feel like that's gonna make you better, right? We're never gonna tell you something that we think, oh, this is gonna make it worse, let me tell them this, right? So we're only coaching you with things that we think will make you better. If you've never done it before, maybe you were told to do it a different way, just do what we're asking. You will eventually feel better once you do it. The more you do it, the better you'll feel. If you've never done it before, it's gonna feel uncomfortable, right? But we're only gonna tell you things we can help you with. Um, I mentioned this earlier. If you guys go watch Major League Infielders, right? Who are, the, who are some of the best Major League Infielders? Just yell them out. Lindor. Lindor. Correa. Who else? Bogarts. Baez, who? Bogarts. Bogarts. Okay, you guys are naming a bunch of guys. A lot of them are from Puerto Rico, but you got guys from America, Puerto Rico, Dominican, Venezuela, all over the place, right? What's, what do you notice? You went and watched Major League Baseball game and watched all the best shortstops. Do you think all of them look pretty similar if you watch them? You watch them catch, right? Would you ever watch a guy field and be like, oh, like he does stuff way different than someone else. Everyone looks pretty much the same, correct? Am I lying? Okay. If we watched all you guys field right now, do you think we'd look and say, everyone's exactly the same? Probably not, right? Everyone would look a little bit different. Some guys would look a lot different. So why is it that all those guys all look pretty much the same, even though they've come from every different part of the world? Why is that? Why, why do they have similar mechanics? Why? Because that's the best way to do it, probably, right? Exactly. If the guy's gotten to the highest level and is the best player in the league or, or the top 10 shortstop in the league, and they all look similar, it's probably because that's just the best way to do it. They fielded 500,000 ground balls and they figured out the best way to do it. It's not like every country has a coach just saying, okay, bring the ball to the middle and go right leg. You know, they just, they figured it out. They've done it a million times. So our point is, we're gonna try to tell you some of that stuff so you don't have to take 500,000 ground balls. It's still good if you can, but we can cut the learning time in half or maybe more than that if we tell you the things we need you to do. Sound good? So that's what I'd like to do today. Um, I think that's all we have. So let's, uh, we're gonna split you guys up into two groups. We're gonna throw and we're gonna do a hands routine and then we'll get into the workout. Sound good? Everybody, down on your knees. All right. I want you to take your, take your glove off. I'm gonna act like this is my glove. Put your glove a little bit in front of you, right there. Okay, just a little bit in front. We wanna feel the ball out in front, so the glove is gonna make you have to get over it and feel it. Okay, everybody, watch me. First thing, butt off your heels. Come off your heels. Second thing, get your chest over your glove. You good? Now, get our hands out front. Not so far that we're stiffing our arms. Get them out front and then soften your elbows a little bit. All right? With your hands, I don't want you to be 12 and six like this. I want you to be just off center. So maybe like two and eight. Everyone get that? Now, when the ball is rolled to us, I want you to feel the ball with two hands, okay? So no catching and putting your hand in there. Two hands, deflect the ball. And when you get the ball, I want you to bring the ball up to the middle right here. Okay, how many guys here, it's okay if you have been, how many guys here have been told to push through every ball that you feel? Anybody? Nobody? Okay, so what I like, I like bringing the ball to the middle like this. Go ahead and roll me one. I like bringing the ball here, receiving the ball. When I bring the ball here, my elbows go out. Everyone see that? Right? So this allows me to have soft hands right here and get into a good throwing position. If someone was going to, go ahead and catch that ball. If someone was going to throw you a ball to catch, you wouldn't catch it like this, correct? You catch the ball like this, and you bring it to the middle. Everyone got it? So it's the same thing. Soft hands, bringing it here. I can't go like this because I'm gonna hit my stomach. 
So that's why my elbow's got to come out this way. Everyone understand that? Yeah. Last thing, I teach in the middle of the body. I know some guys might have been taught to bring the ball out here towards the throwing arm so they can get up quickly to throw. For me, I'm always going to throw to my left, correct? So if I field the ball, again, roll me a ball. If I'm coming this way and I'm bringing the ball that way, I'm going away from where I'm going, right? And so it becomes tough. I feel like I'm going to bobble it every time. I bring the ball over there, right? Instead, if I bring the ball right to my middle, I can break my hands. Everyone got it? Anyone pitch here? Any pitchers? When you pitch, how do you come set with your hands? How do guys do it? Come set. Okay? Yeah. Everybody comes set somewhere in here, right? Nobody comes set up here or down here, right? Everyone's here. So I can break my hands and throw. Make sense? Okay, so let's go back and forth. You're gonna roll the body partner, bring it to the middle, roll it back, okay? Go ahead, put a little bit of something on it. Good, bring it to your middle, elbows out. Yeah, out in front of your glove. That away. Good. That away. Yep, let your elbows go out. A few guys are bringing the ball here, right? Bring it here all the time. Right to where I'm going to break my hands. Every time I'm going to break them there. I'm not going to break them down there. Right? Right here. Okay. Everyone stand up real quick. Put your gloves on. Copy me. So now we're going to take everything we did with our upper body, put our lower body into it. Okay? So first thing, spread your feet a little bit. Bend my knees. Get my back flat. Everyone see my back? Watch my butt. When I get down back flat, my, back, my butt goes back and up. My butt doesn't go down and underneath me. Right? Can't feel like this. Up and back, hands out front, back flat. I gotta be able to see my hands and the ball all the time, okay? You got a ball? Roll me a ball. So, I'm out here. I can see the ball and my glove all the time. What happens when I put my butt down and I put my hand underneath? I can't see my glove. Do it again. I never see my glove, right? I always see the ball. I gotta see both. So I'm gonna be back flat, butt up, hands out front, bring the ball here, roll it back. Everyone got it? Okay, here we go. Good, elbows out, bring it to the middle. Yep, right to the center of your chest. Not in between your feet, not to your belly button. That away. Good. Yeah. Uh, no, righty. Yeah. Okay. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills, 
we break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.